Welcome to Sea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co anchors with me, Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye and Ewa Oluwa Urisu. What's good, people? How you doing? All right, and you? I'm pink alive. lady. Oh, yeah. I feel like Friday <laughs> now. Don't let the pink I mean, ladies come Friday. for you. Huh? They don't let the pink ladies come for you. What? You mean ladies? Anna Montana? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you meant? No. No, I mean, I'm just trying to say... Oh, pink, pink Lady is actually a female cult in um, Nigerian universities. Oh. Yeah. We had no idea. Yeah. Oh, well, now you're informed. <laughs> we fell wash, okay? <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, let's start today Say no with... to cultism, by the way. Can okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so why <laughs> keep criticizes Nigerian media for leaving the grain out of decade list? The musician is in a video said he does not see any reason that Green should not be on the list because he was on the best he was the best artist in two thousand and nine and when he passed away in two thousand and ten his songs were everywhere. Um, let's take a look at his video. What's up guys? Um I'm not trying to start any drama. I'm just trying to say I saw a list uh, a compilation of 50 best artists or greatest artists of the decade, whatever, and the Green's name is not there. In 2009, it was popping. In 2010, it passed on, but his name is still there. Every year, he's been celebrated. You know, it's, it can't, they didn't forget him, but I don't, I don't see no reason why you make a list, that kind of list, and it's not there. I'm not saying anybody that's there don't deserve to be there. I respect everybody. When they're out, when I'm out partying, when they play anybody's songs, I, I dance to it, I, I'm, I vibe to it, because that's part of the movement. And there has to be that respect. You have to respect that legacy, protect the legacy. I don't know what you want to say, just like saying, you know, compiling a list of greatest rappers of all time and Tupac and Biggie are not there because they're they no more. No, come on, let's try. Okay, if you want to argue, just explain the reason why you think that Green is not supposed to be there. I'm not trying to start a drama. I'm not, I'm just, you know, trying to protect the, the legacy. And that's what I have to do. I know I'm doing the right thing. And if you feel that this post, you know, might offend you in any way, you know, my apologies, but this is what I have to do. You know, forget about my own side now, we'll come to that, because I know that. Because I saw some things, and if I said something like that, I'll say, let me just stop here so I won't just um, have to say things that I'm not supposed to say. But I just need that, you know, explanation or whatever it is. But I just, even if you can't explain, I know somebody, even if you're not pretending, I don't see the video, you know, but please, let's just try to... To, to do what we're supposed to do, protect the legacy. Moko no gonna talk of Moko no gonna open old, old wounds of some many 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 things a person know, many, many, many farmsins and all those things you get. But please let's just protect the uh, the Green's legacy. Shout out to everybody doing well, doing good for themselves, everybody, respect to everybody. Thank you. Shai mm. is Okay, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not denied. Like, okay, just so, go to it fair. <laughs> I believe that um, YQ is right to an extent because um, if you're looking for the greatest artist of all time in America, you still put Tupac and Biggie. Yeah. So if you're saying um, greatest artist of the decade and they were looking at it for 10 years ago, mm. then it's only right that someone like Dagwin should be on that list. Mm. Do you understand? So, But how to say is like the moment... You're, you're dead, your legacy dies Super. with you. You understand? Which is not supposed to be the case. I understand where YC is coming from, and I really, YC. I said YC, <laughs> I, uh, YQ, YQ is coming from, and I think I actually support his um, train of thought on this one, and um, so I think they should look into that. And I like the fact that he said that he's not saying that anybody on that list does not deserve to be there. He mm, respects sure everybody. Start coming for it. Yeah, <laughs> but at the end of the day, let's always remember the people that paved the way, especially when it comes to, um, what's indigenous it called, indigenous rap. rap in Nigeria. That Green is one of the people, one of 
not even one. He's the it's, foremost it's, it's, yeah, it's like indigenous the one in rapper France, yeah. in Nigeria. He's right. the first to do it. And 2009, 2010, before he passed away in 2000, he died in 2010. Even right? after his death, his songs his were songs like were still, still very well. Even right now, if you play any of that great song at a party Daddy or in the club, Sini, everybody is still Mami jamming Sini, to Sini, it. So, I mean, Sini, I totally agree with um, YQ100. Yeah. Mm. And I like the way he said it. Like, before people start coming from me, you can Doesn't enlighten you know you can enlighten me if is if i'm wrong in any way and i think that you're just so right you should not apologize for anything just it's say, not apologizing, say, but it's just No, saying, the way he was so sorry about saying it i'm sorry if this offends anybody why should anybody be offended because you're i think everybody should think agree with it. Yeah. anybody that has a problem with this has a serious problem in life <laughs> Yeah, of course. You don't even if I was agreeing or not, but I, I agree totally. I cannot have a Are problem sure? in life. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, totally. Okay, no problem, you have a problem, 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 in, no problem life. in life. Do you agree? Yeah. All this person said I want to make money. I will not embrace the equity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not no, but for real, do you, you have don't agree? Think so. I agree. No, no, for real. No, but for real, for real. I said this 2020 no is intentional. No <laughs> cap. No, uh, no cap. Okay. Are you what sure? is cap gum? Is that what I'm <laughs> like, For real, end of no discussion. Yeah. Mm. Okay, moving on to the next one. <laughs> Where did you get what is cap? <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, multi award winning singer Shakira reveals why she won't marry Pig. How is it pronounced again? PK. So, PK, yeah. <laughs> Reviews why she won't marry PK despite having two kids together. She said, um, and I quote, marriage scares me. I don't want him to see me as his wife, but rather as his girlfriend. It's like that forbidden fruit. I prefer to keep him attentive and think that everything is possible depending on his behavior. Well said, sis. Hmm. Oh, you agree? Yeah, hmm. I agree to um, her beliefs, her standards, her values. She, she's not saying that she doesn't love this man. She mm -hmm. doesn't want to be with this. Obviously, she has two kids with him. She lives with him. She spends most of her time with him. Mm -hmm. And But she's just saying, I'm his girlfriend. But depending on his behavior. So she's not saying that we're not, opening, we're not open to getting married. But his behavior will justify that's what she's no, that's saying. What she's she's saying not that open to get married. She's not open to getting married yeah. at all. At no, she said it scares her. She mm -hmm. Said, but depending on his behavior, mm -hmm. that's the way. Well, that's, that's what I took okay. away from Marriage him. Marriage scares though. me. I don't want him to see me as his wife, but rather as his girlfriend. For now, for me, I believe it's for now. No. Well, for that's me, I think I, I understand away. where she's coming from, and a, a large part of me agrees to what she's mm. saying because you see that tag marriage. Marry I think them. it does something to the, the men. Good even, not even just men, men, women, even people. Mm. You think you want to believe that this person has sense, is a good man, and then when marriage just comes, comes you yeah. just see a different. I think it's like um, entirely and pressure. I, and for honest, I feel you know when people are officially married, mm. there's not like this family is involved, the other family is involved, and there's this kind of pressure and societal pressure to. And you guys are not allowed to be yourself. To yourself, people you know, put as their a, mouths people in. will say, as a married woman, there's a way you should act, there's a way you should dress, there's a way you should, you know, do everything because mm. you you are now already married. Okay. So I totally understand where she's, where coming, she's coming from, from. and I, I think it's okay if you feel that way. Honestly, like there was one time that Ramali said something that for in marriage is just having. Um, children or something. No, like that you're not actually married if you don't have kids. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, and I was telling you that some people actually feel like, well, mm. since we have children and we're living together, there's no point having a party or having a certificate to it. And I feel it's just easier for them. I honestly agree because if I was in her shoes, I feel it's just easier that if you guys have issues, it's easy to walk away. Okay, but for me, what I was going to say is... Um, it takes us back to how we see commitment and mm. what commitment really is. So mm. for me, commitment is not about the tag. Mm. It's not about, about what your family or his or her family, family is yeah. saying. It's about what you two have decided to be for each other. Mm. So it's, it, whether you are a girlfriend or you are fiancé or married, if that commitment is not there, mm. it is not there. So mm. right now, they are, she's girlfriend. She says she likes being called girlfriend. But she has two children for him. They live 
together. Mm. He goes with her on almost all her tours. She's almost everywhere he, with him. Mm. They understand each other. She's saying she's happy. So it's not necessarily about the tag. It's about the commitment you two have for each other mm -hmm. to know that we are in this together for as long as we can keep doing things. I mean, she mentioned the behavior. So as mm. long as your head is still in line. Yeah, I, I think know, that's exactly. So it's, you know, it's not really about the Esther now. Now is about how you feel. Mm. For me, that's how I look at it. And uh, I really do admire this because, um, like, I, I'm, I'm a big advocate for you don't necessarily need to get married. Mm. You can co cohabitate with somebody, you know, have kids together. And, and I think it happens a lot now, even in the um, Nigerian entertainment space, where mm. a lot of people are not officially married, but yeah, they yeah, live together. Yeah, we had Tayo Fanny on yeah. the show, and they yeah. said him and his partner, they have and children they have together. And they've been together, and they've been together, and they've been together for very So I think yeah. it happens now. A lot of people are beginning to understand that. Look, because um, was it when you said it that some people see marriage as an achievement, and I don't think that should actually be the case, because everybody's trying to make it look like if you are not married, you are not fulfilled if as a woman. If, if, you, you know, you know what? I feel like it your depends on, yeah, yeah, I was going to say it's your own achievement. Well, yeah, true it that depends that. on the person. If you think marriage is a big deal and you need to get there, write it down, you will get there. I mean, But you know the African parents, they'll be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, they start calling no, you. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I feel very soon, it might take a while, but everybody would understand that. It's All actually this, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay for people to live together and not, I mean, who joined Adam and Eve together? It's not like they had the marriage or a certificate or any ring binding. And nobody's <laughs> calling her a baby mama. And I think we need to stop that tag of baby mama. <laughs> Because mm. especially when the person is still with you, because they still call women that have kids. And I, I, I think the it depends is on the man. The word baby mama is the mindset Says that God. we have behind the word. I mean, because if this was in Nigeria, they'd be calling her a baby mama. Simple baby mama. I mean, I, I, I'm a mama and I have a baby. Mm. <laughs> you simple, know? You and know? I think I, for me, in this, um, in um, a situation like this, I think it depends on the man or on the woman um, herself. How you see yourself mm. when people are asking you, "What are you to that person?" and you're saying oh he's my baby daddy or i mean if you say he's my husband nobody's going to argue that with you and by the time they will argue to me. i feel I no, say, I no honestly to be honestly i feel like yeah. i feel when people will now put themselves i'm sure no i'm funny and his wife now tire funny mm -hmm. i don't think anybody will want to call her a baby mama or so because he himself is not putting her out there like, like a, a baby, baby mama. mama this is my wife this you get it's just that we don't have a certificate um. so i think it's how you see yourself at the end of the day okay all right, before we go on a break, here is something for Ankara lovers, the slim mamas and papas who like to add a touch of Ankara to every style. Afri Classic has got you covered from bangles to earrings, bags, purses, and so much more, even through pillows and sneakers. Get your Ankara fashion and household accessories and gift items from Afri Classic. That's at A F R I C L A S S I K C on Instagram. We'll go on a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, Brazilian court orders Netflix to take down Gay Jesus film, which prompted a gasoline bomb attack on the person behind the program. Um, the ruling responded to a petition by a Brazilian Catholic organization that argued the honor of millions of Catholics um, was hurt by the airing of The First Temptation of Christ, which is the name of the um, film. The special was produced by a real-based film, film company whose office was targeted in the Christmas. However, in a new development, the Supreme 
Supreme Court over there on Thursday allowed Netflix to continue showing the film, reversing a lower court ruling that the film will be taken down because it did irreparable damage to the nation's Christian. In striking down the lower court ban, the president of Brazil's Supreme Court ruled Thursday that freedom of expression was a fundamental right in a democracy. Netflix had appealed the lower court ruling, saying that it would fight for artistic expression, which goes to the heart of great storytelling. Okay, but so, did you watch? This is where we did are. You watch the movie? Have you seen it? Nah, I'm not interested. I started the movie, but it's just a complete joke. I could never. I think I didn't even pass like seven minutes because. The, I okay, know I'm not. I'm not just... in support of any form of violence, but you see the whole gasoline bomb mm. attack. I feel like. Christians have been quiet enough. Like, there are so many things We're they do, do you know they can't with our religion Islam? that they will not try with the Islam. The Islam. Like, it and is that's what Jesus totally Christ wrong. Wants. I mean, a lot of people did things to Jesus Christ. So they should continue. I'm not saying they should continue. I'm just <laughs> saying that violence is not the best way. No, I'm not saying it's the Jesus best way, but I feel like... like I don't know how to say this. Jesus said this they slapped I think you. this is a satire that goes too, too far. This now, this is religion. For me, personally. This are uh, people's beliefs. This are uh, what people stand for. And then you come, and then because you want to um, create a satire, you want to create a funny movie, you joke with their beliefs, their values, their standards, what they live and die for. Now, I feel that is very wrong. In as much as um, since 2013, same-sex marriage has been um, legal in Brazil, it still doesn't matter that you disrespect people. But a lot of people are saying it that, look, you need to look at it from other um, people's angle. Because mm. in this same movie, um, they depicted God as somebody... I haven't seen it, but someone who's mm. seen it gave me a rundown of the movie. They depicted God as having sex with Mary. Do you mm? understand? As God having sex with Mary, the Virgin mm. Mary. To give her belly. Mm, to give her... To get her pregnant, so it's not like um, we had the Virgin Mary that God actually slept. You know that's a that, lot. That, that is what the movie is saying. Yeah. It's actually in okay. the movie. It was actually dead. I could not. I mean, I really could and, not even watch the movie because it I was not even funny to me. And, Maybe I can't relate to Brazilian comedy, but I was like, what is <laughs> 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 Brazilian comedy <laughs> that these people do? As much I, as we I, want I to feel, be funny, yeah. I think we should um, respect religion mm. no in as much as we want to be artistic because that's the word they're using now especially if you try this with artistry. islam this could cause a war this could cause Okay. I really don't no, think I don't, we should no, compare no. and contrast religion. I know, now. Let's just focus but on it's not because it is. someone is lenient and then you keep slapping the person. Because you have said when they slap you right and you turn the left. So because of that, I'll slap you. You turn. Tomorrow again, I'll come and slap you. You'll turn. At some point, because you're if they let this go, it will still reoccur. It and will keep one, reoccurring. And one other thing I want to mention is I'm, I don't have, I'm not homophobic in any way. Like, I'm very cool with people that, that have different sexual orientation than mine. So that's not a problem. But if you notice, you would realize that um, Hollywood and the Western uh, movie producers in general have deliberately always put the art of lesbianism mm. and gay. In our faces, like for that, they want us to accept it and see it as a norm. Like, mm. there is no movie you want to see, even if the gay guy doesn't have a role, maybe they'll just create one where by the road they're kissing each other, or the gay, like it's yeah. just too deliberate. Then somebody, a way to throw this thing down our throat. And we're not saying don't live your life, but somebody, I mean, take it easy, it's not that deep. Now, you're bringing it to somebody's religion to create a whole like it's just like you waking up to say, uh, Muhammad is gay, and mm. then start like take it easy. It's, it's not that serious. Somebody I, I respect so much, and um, one of our senior colleagues also said that she unsubscribed to Netflix because, because of, of yeah. this no. movie. Bulletin. That because no, she said because um, to them. Come on, it's, there's no, wait, wait. relief no, on wait. Netflix. She said because <laughs> to them. No, she leave. said because to them, it's all about the making the money, right? They're trying mm. to gain favor from the. Um, homosexual community, Every right? community, actually. Yeah, that they're trying to gain favor, not neglecting the fact that this a people's religion, so she unsubscribed because she has to take a stand, mm. because that's what they are trying to do. They're trying to take a stand, so she's also taking a and stand. And Netflix should be careful, because there are so many options now coming yeah. up, like mm. too many options, like way too many. I can't even start mentioning names now. So if you just always keep trampling on people's emotions and religion, then something like this could happen 
on a larger scale. Forget that it is. I mean, this is the person we know. How many people do you know have said, okay, you know what? Bye bye to Netflix. Mm -hmm. What? How many things do you even have that is exclusive that I can't get somewhere else to watch? So, like you said, there are other good content on it. Honestly, I, 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 I really I don't Mary think. As a weed it's, smoker. I, I, I hold it's it's not even should not focus on. I don't know why, but personally, I don't mm. think um, the problem should be Netflix. I think it should be the um, production company because if we are talking about Netflix putting this kind of movie out mm. there, we have other good Christian movies on mm -hmm. Netflix that you have a lot to yeah. learn from. So, what should we say about that? I'm should we say that Muslims should unsubscribe to Netflix because of they that? You know, do, do you get... also have uh, Muslim movies. Uh, no, I'm just Muslim saying, like, well, if people yeah. see that kind of movie and they think, oh, no, is a, I don't think this is uh, according to Islam. No, but that's subscribe. different. I'm that's just, different. What I'm just saying, let's focus is, on the it is not production your company and individuals. Mm. Like, Let's know that it's okay that some people will not believe in whatever you believe in. Mm -hmm. You need to know that and accept it. Don't try to bring anybody. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Down. What you're saying is different because this is not a case of um, I'm a Muslim. So mm -hmm. because I don't understand Christian movies, I don't want to be there. Because I am a Christian and I That's feel like you are bringing. I'm, I'm there to watch a movie about Christianity no, I'm just and saying, I see Jesus like, and you're depicting it in a different way. That's like two different things entirely. There are some movies. And there's a lot of people that, that will be misguided just by this movie mm -hmm. and we actually take advantage of it do you understand and i'm not even saying don't express yourself artistically i mean we're watching lucifer lucifer is if you watch it you understand what whoever is behind it is doing it is not it's not clearly to say oh this is a christian movie or this is how christians see things but they are being very deep with it and you can and agree me. that this one is of, artistry one of our um one of the uh, advocates on the advocates i mean because they touched on this topic and then it was, his advocacy was that people need to watch the movie themselves mm -hmm. then understand what it is because according which to one? um this, this, um, this game movie, yeah this game movie okay. it's said um, a lot of people didn't watch the movie. That's why I tried watching it, mm. but I didn't find it funny. I was just bored. He said a lot of people didn't watch the movie, so they are just picking on what this person said, what that person okay, said. Okay, so you were bored, you were not irritated? No, I, honestly, you I was just bored. Yeah, I was just okay, bored. So like, I didn't I'm find not, it I'm funny. Not, I'm not going to say because I'm a Christian, that's why I won't watch this movie. Or I find it offensive to my religion. Mm. I just think it is respect for religion. The same way I would not watch a movie about a gay Muslim. Allah. Mm. The same way I will not watch a movie about a gay Buddha. Mm. Do you understand? So it's not about Christianity. I just think that I would not disrespect anybody's religion. Mm. That's it. Yeah, For me, I'm not watching honest. it because I I make a very intentional effort to guard what goes into my mind. Mm. So telling me gay Jesus, I don't understand. But what somebody does said that, um, to that you? Um, okay on a lighter note. Somebody mm. said that the white Jesus. Well, you know, um, Hi and I have said that um, Jesus is black, and you agree. <laughs> yeah, I totally so agree. He, he said maybe not <laughs> black, but he had a brown skin. But um, somebody said the white Jesus is actually suspect. That why does he have only men as the side? I didn't say it to. Oh, God, God, God. Maybe God. I can answer on the lighter <laughs> note too. We've, in fact, from time immemorial, which is why when people are talking about feminism and trying to be, bring them down, I say, let them be because there is a cost to be to, for them to fight. Mm. Women have always been seen as the weaker says, don't enter this place, don't be a pastor in church, don't stand up to talk. Even in the Bible, I think it was a letter from Paul when Paul mm. was saying, um, a certain woman has been active in mm. the ministry, please assist her. So they still see her, even as much as she has She's worked so yeah. hard in the present, in, in the temple of God, they yeah. still felt like she needed their assistance. own assistance mm. to be respected. Mm. So coming from that patriarchal place, mm. I mean, it's understandable for you to just be able to pick men mm. as your disciples. And if you now look at the things Jesus did, actually with the issue of the blood woman and the woman that was accused of sleeping, you know you know, he actually stood by them and made sure that nobody was trying to bring them down. And he said so, there was a particular disciple that was always leaning on Jesus Christ's chest in the Bible and all of that. I, I, did say all those things, I feel like all those things are just people's in my, I mean, I don't let all those things even get to me. I'm like, what are you saying? And you know Unless people are also fighting against the um, toxic masculinity thing. When you say, it's now that we're getting better. Remember before, a guy cannot hug a guy. Like, once it happens, you you start, the alarms are sparking. Like, are they gay? Is something guys happening? Guys guys but now, have the, you know. no, now you could see them giving emotions. Like, they understand that, okay, he's sad. And you can actually say, I, I love you, bro. Yeah, it happens but, now. People say <laughs> it now. In fact, I used to, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know? people do uh, now. And so we are moving past I'm that suspect, um, eh? meta. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Let she me, just, it just no, played no, no, out no, no, right I'm now. Not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it's a suspect. I'm just saying if I would probably never tell a no, guy, no, of course. I love you. No, I, I probably tell a lot of friends like that, like especially my friends that are not around. Like mm. after the conversation, I'm like, love, bro. Okay. okay, that's how I wrap up this episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Love, bro. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Out to TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co anchors, Ewalu Oritu and Ifeolu Oshuke, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.